In order to wean a person off a ventilator, a patient, um, there is a huge process. So when you are put on a ventilator, it's usually full support of a ventilator. So it's initially breathing for you. It's initially your life support. So when you come into the facility, the patient comes in thinking, okay, so I'm gonna have this machine for the rest of my life breathing for me. So when they come in, we assess them and then we start the weaning process. So the weaning process is taking down um, just how much support they are getting. So it takes it down to less support um, every day to where they're not getting support at all. They're kind of initiating the breath themselves. So when we're looking at the patient when we're weaning them, we take a look at the Voxin, we look at tidal volumes, we look at the respiratory rate, we also look at the waveforms. The waveforms can tell us if they're auto-peeping, auto-stacking, um, and if they're fighting the vent. Um, if they're having a little bit distress against the vent, and then we look at the patient to see how they're tolerating it. Once they start initiating the breath themselves, we start carrying on with, okay, let's take them off the vent to see if they can initiate taking a breath without the vent at all. So then once we get them to that point, that would be weaning. So they would be weaned off the vent. Over the last 10 years, I've seen there was a big push towards portability for ventilators. But in the portability side, it's lost a lot of the ability to do advanced weaning. We have the ability to use a, a piece of equipment like Voxin to really wean a patient at their own pace. Whether it's a combination of getting them into therapy and getting them stronger, uh, a combination of some respiratory therapy and ventilator management has really given us the opportunity to take people that they've considered unweanable and give them an opportunity to wean from the vent. To be able to have the cough assist is a, is a major help in, in weaning as well. So we've found that using this unit um, has allowed us to wean patients that we didn't think would be weaned.